Now they've been performing Waiting for Godot on Broadway. Now they're about to star together in the latest X-Men film. Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart, acting knights of a certain age, have established something of a bromance, both on and off screen. So many battles waged over the years. The seventh film in the X-Men series about a team of mutant superheroes sees the stars of the original trilogy join forces with their younger selves to save humanity from extinction. It's about mankind's inability to tolerate difference, the mutants, and the wisdom and experience of age. We now find ourselves on the edge of extinction. It's 14 years since wise old wizard Sir Ian McKellen teamed up on the first X-Men movie with Sir Patrick Stewart. The two Royal Shakespeare Company veterans first met decades ago, but only kindled their bromance on the set of the X-Men films. Well, when I spoke to them earlier, we discussed how the making of their latest film turned the British actors into nostalgics. I got very emotional. It may partly be something to do with my age and something to do with the fact that a lot of it is to do with memory and old associations and earlier days, which uh, you know, that will in instantly set the taps running for me. But I, I was going to ask you about that, Ian, this business of the wisdom of age and you know, the foolishness of youth, which is very much what the film, for me, that's what I took away from it. I have no assumptions about superiority just because I'm older, no. I think maybe that's the wisdom you learn, that, you, that, that as you get older, is that uh, you, you're never going to understand it and you accept it, whereas in youth has all the answers, doesn't it? I don't have any answers any longer. Do you? Uh, n certainly not superiority, no. Um, I do find that I, I have a much more urgent feeling to enjoy myself now. I thought you were going to urgent need to go to the laboratory. <laughs> <laughs> that as well, yeah. <laughs> I tell you what I don't much like about modern life is that there seems to be an awful lot of technology that takes over your life. You don't seem to be able to contact people except through all these machines. The idea of talking to someone face to face, touching oh, yeah. each other for goodness sake. Uh, uh, looking at each other. People don't look at each other in the street. They're all, they, they, they miss the love of their life who's walked by because they're on the phone talking to... Who are they talking to? I don't know. Just going back to the film, um, apart from the business of age and youth and so on, it's obviously with the mutants and the uh, persecution of the mutants, it's about humanity's inability to tolerate difference, isn't it? Well, when Brian Singer <clears throat> asked me to be in, in, in these films all those years ago, he sold it to me uh, on just this point. He said, as a gay man, you, you, you can identify uh, with the mutants. Uh, people who have talents are, are, are remarkable people, but are despised by society because they're different. And the demographic for the readership of the, of the comics, I don't know if it's true of the, of the films, uh, is young blacks, young Jews and young gays who do... <clears throat> unfairly feel that they're, 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 they're being um, despised by a society that doesn't quite understand them. In many areas of the world, uh, gay is, is still a mutancy which uh, is clearly not tolerated in some societies. I mean, you can be put to death for, for your sexuality. Uh, not in this country. We, we, we've advanced. It's been one of the great joys of my life. You say that, though, but then you've got UKIP, you know, the rise of UKIP, which is pretty intolerant towards immigrants, for example. Also, you've got a UKIP candidate in the Newark by-election. I detect th those nasty words that come out of um, people's mouths uh, is, is shouting into the wind. They know it's over. And people, who, people will shout louder and louder because they're so frustrated that they're their opinions and their prejudices have not been confirmed by the rest of society. I'm very optimistic that uh, actually the, things are changing here, not, not everywhere in the world. So what do you make of um, the UKIP leader, for example, saying this weekend that most people over 70 are uncomfortable with homosexuality? Well, he, he hasn't talked to this uh, over 70-year-old or, or, or this one. Uh, I think, frankly, uh, Farage needs to get out more. We've been talking about Twitter and so on. If you could, each of you, write a hashtag that best sums up your bromance. Yeah. Sorry, I know, I, I'm very... Do you sure. mind holding it up? I think that is so sweet. Even though, look, the Lancastrian holds it one way and the Yorkshire oh. in the other. <laughs> yes, I'm upright, he is horizontal. <laughs> <coughs>